Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. We do a lot of videos on the 2015 Mustangs because honestly, right now, it is still the hottest thing in the Mustang market. We know 2015 owners love the big dollar install videos we do like superchargers. We also understand that most of you are probably just doing basic bolt-on installations right now. Like previous models, one basic bolt-on install the 2015 can really benefit from is a set of lowering springs. So today, we're going to show you how to install Ford Racing's lowering springs using our 2015 Mustang GT convertible. This is Ford Racing Street Lowering Spring Kit. It's going to lower your performance pack or standard Mustang GT approximately one inch all the way around. The kits can include all four lowering springs as well as a brand new set of jounce bumpers from Ford Racing. The jounce bumpers are much softer as well as lower than the factory ones, which will work perfect with the modified ride height of the lowering spring. For this installation, let a lift and a pull jack or a jack and jack stands, half inch ratchet, 13 millimeter socket, 15 millimeter socket, 18 millimeter socket, three quarter socket, 13 16 socket, 15 16 deep socket, 21 millimeter socket, short extension, 15 millimeter wrench, 17 millimeter wrench, half inch impact gun, panel removal tool, hammer, and a spring compressor. The first step in installing Ford Racing's lowering spring kit is to get your car up off the ground and remove all four wheels. We'll begin the installation with the front. We'll start by doing here, there's three bolts that go through the tower that hold the strut to the strut tower. We're going to remove two of the bolts, leave the third one attached but loosen it up. Now we'll move down to the strut. We're going to start by taking the sway bar off the back of the strut. You need a wrench to hold the back of it and then remove the nut. Once the sway bar is out of the way, we'll move on to the caliper. The caliper is held on the bracket by two bolts back here. We're going to move those and place the caliper aside so we can continue to remove our spindle. Place it out of the way, back here on the sink. Before we move on to the strut, we're going to just pull off the two clips to hold the ABS line to the strut so they don't get damaged. With that stuff out of the way, remove the two nuts that hold the bolts for the spindle connects to the strut. To hammer through the bolts, you want to put the nuts back on just till they're on the ends here so you don't damage the ends of the bolt and smack them with a the hammer. We can work the bolts out carefully. With the bolts out now, hold on to the strut. Undo that third nut we left loose up on the tower and remove the assembly. Once you have the strut off, you want to put it up on a table so we can compress the spring to remove the strut top. To do that, you want to use a spring compressor. There are other ways people can say you can use a vise. Spring compressors are not that expensive to buy. You can also rent one. This is the tool we do recommend for doing this job. Spring compress, remove the strut nut. Now carefully remove the spring compressor.
Now at this point, pull the dust boot off. That'll reveal our factory bump stop. Simply slide that off. Put the new one in place. You can see huge height difference between the stock one and the aftermarket. Even squeeze them, you can feel it's a lot softer than the original as well. Now put the boot back on and install the spring. Now we're going to install the Ford Racing spring into our compressor. Compress the spring. You won't have to compress the lowering spring quite as far because it is a shorter spring. We make sure the spring is lined up properly with a lower rubber mount before installing the strut cap. Now before we release tension, tighten down the strut nut. Make sure everything's seated properly and release tension from the spring compressor. Make sure the spring's seated properly, reinstall the rubber cap on the top, it's ready to go back on the car. Now we'll reinstall the strut assembly with the new spring the same way we took it out. Put it up in the place, just put the top bolts on hand tight. The strut loosely mounted, now we can work the spindle back into the strut. Now we're going to tighten the nuts down. When you tighten the nut down, it's going to pull the bolt through, the threaded section will pull through the strut. Grab the sway bar end link, we'll feed it back through the strut. Reinstall the nut, we'll tighten it down. We'll put the ABS line back in the factory clips. and reinstall our rotor and caliper. To line up the caliper on the rotor, make sure the rotor is seated properly. Just throw one lug nut on there hand tight. That'll hold the rotor in place, makes it a lot easier to reinstall the caliper. With the strut installed, we can come up top and tighten down to three strut nuts. We can move on to the rears. Moving on to the rear, the first thing we're going to do, pop the ABS lineup's little bracket here to loosen it up, then remove this bolt to give us a little more play with our brake line. Next, unbolt these two bolts here for the shock. Pop the cover off the top of the rear shock. We can access the bolt. With the shock loose, remove the nut on the top, so you're gonna move the bracket and access the bump stop. Okay. 
Now we're gonna pull up to remove the dust stop with the sleeve. Here you can see a comparison between the Ford Racing bump stop and the stock one. Again, not only is it shorter, it's also a softer material. The new bump stop in place. And reinstall the dust boot. Now we're gonna lower down the subframe so we can remove the rear spring. First step in doing so, these two bolts here, we're just gonna loosen them up. You don't have to remove them all the way. You want to support the subframe with a jack of some sort and remove the front and rear subframe bolts. So you want to pull down until you have no tension left on the jack. We're going to pull down so we can release the spring from the perch. We're going to grab our new Ford Racing spring. You want the part with the closer coils to be on top. Grab the insulator, reinstall the proper location up against the end there, and put it into place. Now we'll jack the subframe back into place and reinstall the bolts. And double check, make sure the spring is seated properly in the bottom. Get both bolts started by hand. Make sure everything's lined up. And we'll tighten them up. And I can re-tighten the two front bolts. I can remove the jack. And reinstall the bracket on top of the shock. On the shock over the factory bracket, reinstall the hardware. Last step on the rear is we're going to reinstall the ABS line to the bracket. Press that in place. I want to repeat the process on the other side, and your installation is finished. Our Ford Racing Springs gave her a 2015 GT convertible a much needed height adjustment. None of these springs look good, we're also going to improve handling, and because they're a Ford Racing part, we know they're going to make the OEM specs for quality, and they're also made right here in the USA. Installation is pretty straightforward, take you around two hours, you'll be back on the road in no time. For more installation videos for your 2015 Mustang, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out cjponyparts.com for the best selection of 2015 Mustang parts.